Let's go back to our breaking news story this hour where the controversial secrecy bill will not become law just yet. Uh, President Jacob Zuma says he's referring it back to Parliament uh, for reconsideration. We're now joined by the Freedom of Expression Institute's Executive Director, Peño Butale. Thank you so much uh, for joining us uh, this afternoon. Thank Did you. this decision come as a surprise to you for starters? Well, uh, it is a welcome su surprise. Um, I think, as you know, um, this is an appeal that we made to, to the president uh, to say that perhaps there is need that um, uh, the bill be looked at again, uh, either by referring it back to parliament or referring it to, to the constitutional court. So um, if it is a surprise, it is a welcome surprise. And we applaud the president for uh, providing leadership on this very, very important issue. What the president has said in his statement today is that the law as it stands now does not pass constitutional muster. But this is what critics have been saying for, for two years now at least. Why would it take the executive so long to act on such a matter? Well, um, to, be, to be fair to the president, I think you know that the, the bill uh, went through a lot of lobbying. It's one of those bills that took a lot of uh, time, you know, back and forth. And to, to, to be fair also, the bill, that the version that was passed by parliament uh, and, and the version that was the initial version, I mean, there was a huge improvement. But we, we said at the time of passing by parliament that they still, there were still issues uh, that we were uncomfortable with, issues that made the, the whole bill as it was. Uh, to be unconstitutional issues around, uh, um, you know, whistleblowers not being provided with enough uh, uh, protection, which would then have had a negative impact on, on the role that whistle, whistleblowers and what other watchdogs like the media plays in a democracy. So uh, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a happy, good day for, for democracy. And, and once again, you know, we, uh, people like ourselves, Freedom of Expression Institute, the Right to Know campaign, I think we, are, we welcome the decision. Do you think that these material changes around, for example, the protection of whistleblowers will be changed significantly once the bill goes back to the National Assembly? Well, we hope so, and we hope to, to engage uh, uh, with, with, the, with Parliament, with the relevant legislators. And I think, uh, more than anything, this is an opportunity uh, for uh, further dialogue on the issue. And I think, as the President has made a pronouncement that perhaps this bill w you know, needs another look, uh, I think Parliament would then be better advised to take heed of uh, the message or, or, or the arguments that have been advanced by critics. As you say, uh, some of the things that the President say uh, were said. Um, we said it uh, uh, when, before the bill was passed and perhaps if Parliament had uh, taken heed to what we were saying and what other players had been saying, other critics had been saying, perhaps you know, we would have rectified these uh, before the bill went to, to the President. As you say, I mean, there's been two and fro in, over this particular bill and lots of debates in, in the National Assembly and outside of it by the civil society as well. Do you expect this particular process to drag on uh, as well? Well, I, obviously, uh, you know, it, it, it might take a bit of time because obviously it, 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 it's a process of give and take. Uh, and, and we, we as, as, you know, players, as, 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 as I said, we will have to make uh, our views here to Parliament. And I think uh, if this, I mean, this thing has taken a long time and I think the, the points have been made and um, uh, I, one wouldn't expect it to take an awfully long time, but it is important that the debate is accorded enough time and, you know, so that at the end of the day we have the kind of bill that would serve uh, the nation better, the kind of bill that we want, that has a place in a democracy. Broadly, what do you think this means for our democracy? Well, I think um, following uh, you know recent statements where the president was not so kind uh, to the media, mm -hmm. uh, and 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 this decision that he has taken now, I think it's um, you know it's 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 kind of uh, uh, you know saying. You know, we we were worried. Now, you know, at least we 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 better. We think in that okay, 
he is not so bad after all in terms of his view, his attitude to the media. So I think maybe it's an olive branch to the media. Maybe it shows that uh, what he said may not necessarily uh, be the views, his views about the media and his role in the democracy. So this is, this is a good uh, move that he's taken. Uh, and it also shows that he, he listens to critics, he listens to the national dialogue and discourse. Uh, and, and I think it's, it's a welcome development. Thank you so much for your time. That was the Freedom of Expression Institute's Executive Director, Peño. Butali. News that moves. ENCA.com.